to Alice Park in Johannesburg and the Crusaders made a cracking start against the Lions this morning, scoring right from the kickoff. Now Nadolo in space, one man to beat simple two and one, it's Ryan Crotty in the corner. But the lead lasted just three minutes as Lionel Marpo scampered away to get the Lions on the board. The six, and it's Ron Combrink. Combrink, one man to beat. Oh, 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 oh. The try was converted by Elton Yanchis to give the Lions the lead, but back came the Red and Blacks. Johnny McNichol, the intercept, and sprint down the touchline. It's an intercept. Johnny McNichol. Johnny McNichol, 22. Johnny McNichol go all the way in the corner. Yanchis landed a penalty to keep the Lions in touch, but the helter-skelter pace of the first half just didn't let up. And after six phases on attack, Wyatt Crockett crashed over for the Crusaders' third try. Green offloaded the tackle. Great line from Berwick. It's going to be in the corner. Crockett. Converted by Richie Moanga, the Crusaders had a nine-point lead. Q Elton Yanchis. Slow ball for the home side. Change of direction. Elton Yanchis! Two tests Springbok adding the conversion and then his second penalty to put the home side into the lead by one point. As the hooter blew for the break, Richie Moanga landed a penalty and it was the Crusaders back in front by two. Into the second spell and the Alice Park pitch was taking a pounding as early on we settled into a torrid forward battle. But a quick break up the middle saw Ryan Crotty sprint clear for his second try. Crotty straight through the middle, what you do we can do better! And Crotty was in again for his hat trick three minutes later. Nisi gets beaten again. Combring tracks him down. Good stop run, Combring, but not good enough as Crotty goes in for a hat trick. His third of the evening. The visitors were 16 points up. In the first half, Johnny McNichol had scampered down the far touchline. In the second spell, it was Ackerman to Merva's turn. The Lions keep possession alive. Ucker, fun him over, fun him over. Ucker, fun him over. Has he got the pace? He has. <laughs> But any thought of a comeback for the Lions was dashed just two minutes later as Richie Mwanga and Johnny McNichol combined to put replacement Mitchell Drummond over for the Crusaders' sixth try. McNichol, one man to beat, the inside pass, Drummond will go over. Given the nature of the game, there was of course still time for another try. The game's tenth scored by the man described as like a little warthog, Eka van der Merwe. The try. Yanchi's converted and added a late penalty that saw the final score 43-37 in favour of the Crusaders, who've now gone four games unbeaten and travelled to Perth to take on the force next Friday night.